How are you doing guys? Welcome back to the Bar Sewers and welcome to our first scale report and this week with the squad being announced, we're going to start with Liam Kelly, someone who was left all out of a uh, Martin O'Neill squad, has been named in, in previous provisional squads. Um, so Liam Kelly's 21, he plays for Reading, for those of you who don't know, and he's had a very good start to the season. Nick, what is it about Lu Liam Kelly, I think he said Liam Kelly, what is it about Liam Kelly that, um, where, that he made you so disappointed he wasn't in the squad? Yeah, well he's, he's probably one of my favourite Irish players at the moment. I mm -hmm. watch huge amount of championship games and I've watched him in particular for the last year. Um, I think he give, he will give us that extra kind of technical option. Um, he's like a younger, fresher, quicker Wes Elan. Huge fan of Wes Elan, but I think Kelly offers a little bit more. He's got that technical ability. He's actually able to run at players as well. He plays a number 10 role, but I think he was originally a winger, so he's got that in his game. Um, so you know, I think that's kind of what we're missing. Yeah. Whether he would have featured in the in the two games, you know, it, it remains to be seen. But I think even getting the experience in the squad and trying to promote a player like that, you know, it, not having him in there is really disappointing. Yeah, his underage um, stats for Ireland don't read well if you're a fan of him mm -hmm. like Nick is. So he's only played four times for the under 19s when he's qualified for that, and he only played once um, for the under 21s. He's 21 now, not eligible um, going forward for them. Um, so yeah, he you compare him there to Wes Houlihan. Um, what we're in need of at the moment is ball playing, um, creative uh, midfielders, and that's what what Liam Kelly is. So, do you foresee him breaking into the Ireland team going forward? I Obviously hope you'd so. like to see him. I hope so. I mean, O'Neill doesn't seem overly keen. I think he would have capped him over the summer, um, if, you know, if he was and. You know, I think, as I said, like I, I think Kelly's been the superior. If you're to compare Hulahan and Kelly over the last year, Hulahan's fantastic, as I said, more experienced. But if you're to compare the two, and I watch an awful lot of championship, um, Kelly's the, the far better player, the far superior player. So I think it'll only be a matter of time before he gets a cap. Um, but he'll probably be a player that's used very, uh, very scarcely mm. when he should be a player that should be pushing for a start. So in 10 years' time, or in 5 years' time, Eamon Dunphy will be going mad over the exclusion of Liam Kelly. Potentially, but I hope not. He's had a very good start to the season. I think he's scored three or four times now. Um, he's playing for, he's had a quite a quick um, rise to Reading's um, first team. And he made his debut in like the, the League Cup. I think it was August of, of 2016. And now he seems to be a very vital cog in, in the Reading machine, um, they made it to the playoff final last year and, and they lost. Um, and he started in, uh, this season extremely well. So it, And he made the provisional squad a, a larger provisional squad um, than the one named yesterday. Um, so yeah, it, it's it's very strange. You were upset by it not being in. Not upset, but you were annoyed at it. I was upset. Um, so yeah, it would be interesting to see what happens now going forward Luke Kelly. Um, Liam. Liam Kelly, can you say Luke Kelly? <laughs> Luke Kelly's dead. <laughs> Spoiler alert. Uh, um, yeah, so that, that's our, our take on Liam Kelly. We're big fans of him here. We've spoken, at him, spoken about him previously. Um, so yeah, let us know what you think of him and let us know if there's any young players that you would like us to have a look at. We'll be back next week with a look at Declan Rice at West Ham and then going forward from that, we'll be looking at loads of other Irish players in both England and Ireland, so we shall see you then.